So we have established that a component, it's basically a function that returns some HTML. And the only reason that we can call it a component, or not the only reason, but what makes it more a component and what makes it fun is that you can use this component like an HTML tag. So you can just say in your HTML from now on, you could say bootstrap card, you open the tag, and you close it like this, and you put something inside, it will be like an HTML tag, like your own HTML. That's what's really fun about it. And if you want to have some explanation about that, I recommend you go to the previous exercise on how to build a component. But in this one in particular, we are going to talk about the properties. The property is what the function will receive. Like, as a normal function in JavaScript receives some parameters, a component that is a function as well can also receive parameters. The only difference is that they don't go separated by comma. Like before in a function, if you have have several parameters, they will be A, B, C, D, E, all separated by comma. And depending on the position, that's how you match them. Like whoever's calling this function is going to call it uh, respecting the order of the parameters. A React component only receives one parameter, props, and that's an object, and it will contain whatever you want it to contain. Uh, there's something called the prop types here that it's where you defined what you what this object you wanted to contain. Like right now, it's saying that it, it's going to contain a title. So let's say, let's see something. So they want us to create the tag for the bootstrap title. According here to the prop types, it has a title that is a string. So when I'm doing a React DOM render, let me copy that React DOM render from the previous exercise. If I am going to use the bootstrap card, I would need to put the properties like this. You see, the bootstrap card has now a title, like an HTML tag, but it's super cool because this will become props.title here. Props.title. And that's basically everything you need to know about properties. They are read only, by the way, you cannot change them later. You cannot just say here, props.title equals Bob, because you will be overriding the original property or the original value that came with title, the property title. So that's important that you realize that you cannot change properties. They can only be changed from outside of the component. So from here, like here I'm outside of the component, I'm fitting or I'm inputting into the component this title. So here I can do whatever I like. I can just reset it to whatever I want. But once I'm inside and I'm receiving as a prop dot title, I cannot change it anymore. It's read only from inside of the component. So the exercise, I think it's telling me to add the image URL, description, button URL, and button label. So I have to change, okay, I have to add more properties here. So the description, let's call it description. It's a string as well. So comma that comma. What else do I need to add? The bot the button URL. There it is. It's still gonna be a string. And the button label, it is still gonna be a string. And the image URL. So let's do that one as well. Now let's put the commas that I'm missing. So these are going to be my properties now. That's what I can put on the tag. Now let's put it on the tag. So description. We're going to have to copy this description and paste it here. And then we put here props.description. What else? The boot on URL, so let's put it, boot on URL. That is this Wikipedia link, in quotes, because it's a string, remember. Then the boot on label. There here it is, go to Wikipedia. And here we put button label like this, button label. Oh, it's props that button label. So props that button label. And here it would be props dot URL, right? No, button URL, I think. Button URL. Here it is. And then the image is the last one. 
so the image URL. So let's look for the image URL. Here it is. And we put it here. And then we can remove this entire value and make it dynamic with props.image URL. Okay, let's first build it to see how it looks. It should look like a normal card, like a Bob Dylan card. Yeah, it's perfect. And now let's test it. Okay, we have two issues. Component title is being passed properly. So apparently the title is not being passed properly. Title Paul McCartney. And what's supposed to be the title? It doesn't say. Maybe it's looking for Bob Dylan. Yeah, he was looking for Bob Dylan. So let's put Bob Dylan here. And then the component should return the exact HTML. So the other problem was. Again, Bob Dylan. So let's try. Let's try if we see the, if this works now. With Bob Dylan instead of Paul McCartney. Yep, yeah, works perfect.